Okay, my friends, uh, I'm about to do a video. Uh, I, I, I've tried to do how-to videos before, and there wasn't too much interest in them, uh, like the jig heads. So, uh, but I'm, I'm going to do this one because this is uh, the most frequently asked question by my viewers is about my fish finder, uh, the Mega, the, my settings on it. So I decided to do this one, and uh, I've got a lot of tips and stuff for, like, especially people that use 5 inch screens because that's what I used for years and years was a 798 it wasn't even HD but it was a 5 inch screen and uh, I taught myself how to use that and how, uh, how to find brush pops so I've got tips on that also on these megas you know tips on how to take uh, snapshots without creating a waypoint tips on how to change the frequencies without going into menu uh, just just all kinds of things uh, so uh, I do have tips and but if there's no interest in, in in these types of videos then I won't do them I'll just continue doing my uh, my fishing videos okay all right my friends uh, once you get your unit powered up first thing you need to do is hit your menu button twice okay now, with your right arrow key, I need you to scroll over to where it says Setup. Now, I need you to scroll down to where it says User Mode and set that to Advanced. Okay, let's get started now. I'm going to do this in simulation mode, folks. Okay, here we go. Alright, these are going to be the settings that I have on my Mega. Alright, I'm going to hit this menu twice. Alarms, I really don't use anything here. So we're going to go to the next one, which is sonar. Okay, these are the settings 2D chirp display frequency is high. DI is mega chirp si mega chirp surface clutter five 2d switch fire clear mode imaging switch fire clear mode max di is on fish id is off my wife loves that on i turn it off every chance i get fish id sensitivity i've got it set on five rts window is off Bottom view structure ID, uh, I don't have it on white line because it turns to bottom white. I'd rather have the structure ID. Zoom width, I've got that on wide. Medium sensitivity offset, zero. Depth lines are on. Side imaging range, range lines are off. If I turned them on, you will see the lines come on over here. See? The lines are on them. I don't like them lines. I turn them off. Now the depth lines are when I'm in uh, 2D or DI. That's the depth lines that are going across. Those I do have on. Side engine readouts on. Frequency label on. That's that frequency label there. Noise filter is low. Maximum depth is an auto. Water type fresh. Connected transducer, I have my Mega connected. Side imaging orientation is on normal. Digital depth source, 2D element. Color bar is off. Temperature graph is off. Okay, that's in sonar. Those are my settings in sonar. Next is navigation. Uh, the only thing really here is my chart orientation, I like to point my boat icon to always point upwards. Uh, so I have it heads up. Casting rings is off. That's something I'm going to start playing with. North reference, true. Waypoint proximity, it's hidden. Waypoint decluttering is on. I do have a bunch of waypoints that are close together, so I like to have the decluttering on. Trolling grid rotation, 0%. Track point interval, one second. I like to uh, for it to track me as I'm moving as fast as possible. 
track minimum distance 16 foot map datum WGS I don't know what that is north up indicator is off course projection line is standard 3d view line outline visible continuous navigation mode is off SI navig navigation is on okay that's in the navig navigation chart latitude and longitudinal grid hidden Navigate's bird's eye view is visible. Map source is Contour XD. Auto zoom is off. Auto range is off. Vessel offset that is on. That is something I will have in my tips and tricks. I will show you. And the F offset speed has got to do with the vessel offset. Okay, that's in chart now. HB chart. Okay, auto chart live. No, nope. visible the contour lines. Yes, visible. Definitely the contour lines. Depth colors. I've got it set on four. Depth highlight. I've got a 17 foot. Depth highlight. Uh, now the depth highlight and the depth highlight range is something that is very handy. And I will explain that in tips. Shallow water highlight. I got it set at four. That is something else that is very handy. And I will have it in my tips later on. Hopefully if I do it. If there's any interest in these. Water level offset. Another very handy thing to use. And there's your lake list. Okay. Now these everything that I'm saying I, I have in my tips. If there's any interest in it, then yes, I will have tips uh, in another video. <clears throat> that will tell you what some of these do and how to use them. Uh, stuff that I use all the time. Okay, setup uh, unit depth is in feet, distance, statute miles, speed in miles per hour user mode first thing you need to do when you do this come up here to to user mode and put it in advanced okay sorry i didn't put that in the front language is english digital readouts overlay oh select readouts okay this is where you get all these depth temperature you can turn them off, on, or you can even change them. Like there is depth, you want it off, or you can have the course, uh, auxiliary temperature, you know, temperature, speed, I don't know what that is, position. Okay, so that's that right there. Okay, select so now. Depth. Depth, on. depth offset is depth offset is zero. Offset. Temp offset. Like I said, okay. Set my time zone to Central Standard Time. Okay, that's CST. Here you got Eastern Time. You got Mountain Time. You got Pacific Time. And then I've got my daylight savings on. And there's that for your so forth. GPS output. I've had mine on five. I've put it on 10. I'm going to see what this does. I'm not quite sure, but I'm going to play with it. If I, GPS starts messing around, taking too long, whatever, I will put it back to five. But I just changed it to today to 10. GPS on this ditch format small tens. Now this one here just changes these small numbers over here. So it makes them big or small. So uh I mean off talker ID default sonar is on chirp configuration. Okay. 2D chirp frequency. Uh Medium start frequency, I've got it set at 75. Medium end frequency, I've got it set at 95. 
uh, high start frequency I've got it starting at 175 high end frequency I've got it ending at 225 2d chirp mode is on DI chirp mode frequency spectrum okay at 455 kilohertz I've got it starting at 420 uh, 455 kilohertz down imaging it ends at 513 800 kilohertz down imaging I have it st the frequency starting at 800 and the 800 kilohertz down imaging I have it ending at 845 kilohertz now the 1200 kilohertz down imaging start frequency is I've got it at 1175 and the 1200 kilohertz DIN frequency I have it set at 1290 okay DI chirp is on side imaging chirp of course it is on and the frequency spectrums on this on my side imaging is the 455 kilohertz I've got it starting at 451 the 455 kilohertz side imaging I have it ending at 520 now the 800 kilohertz inside imaging I've got it starting at 800 uh, I've got the 800 kilohertz side imaging ending at 850 the 1200 kilohertz inside imaging I've got it starting at 1150 and I've got the 1200 kilohertz inside imaging ending at 1275 local chirp configuration it's not letting me go in there okay all right next is demonstration is visible sound control all sounds are on okay next is uh, this is the views this is your screen views you can come in here and you can hide anything you want okay that's what this this uh, is for now accessories I do not have 360 sonar, don't have 360, don't have 360. Now screen sh snapshot right now, I've got it on off because I was playing with it. That should be on on, okay? Waypoint. When you take a waypoint, uh, it will take a snapshot, it will take a picture of it. Okay, now this is another thing I will have tip on. Get radar, no, I don't do radar, don't have it. Uh, if you want to hook up your phone so you get text messages on your screen, this is where you do it. Okay, wireless remote. I got remote with these, with this unit. Uh, I don't use it. I've got it sitting up in somewhere. But anyway, this is where I would uh, pair the, the device, the unit with the remote that I have. Okay, and that's it. Uh, now you've got all my settings okay uh, if there's an interest in this I do have a, a bunch of tips on how to just take snapshots without uh, getting taken away point uh, I've got tips on like I've got tips on how to change these numbers how to change your frequency uh, as, as you're looking without having to go in, in, into your menu. And I've, like I said, I've got more tips and tricks. If, if there's interest in, in this, then I, I'll do more videos on, on different tips and tricks on it. All right. I uh, hope you all appreciate this. I hope so, this helps somebody. If it does, hey, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment. So if this helps you, let me know. Y'all have a good one.